if we supply too much voltage to our electronic component or ICs, then most of the component are burned and some of them are shorted. Like this type of ICs are needed constant 5V to run properly. That's why if we supply any high voltage to this IC, then this IC will be shorted. For this, we need this type of voltage regulator IC. This series called 78XX voltage regulator. It can be 5V, 9V, 8V, 15V and more on. And I'm going to show you how it works, how to design one and fully turn one working professional circuit board that can use on any needed circuit that can be used as linear power supply. The purpose of linear voltage regulator to keep linear output voltage when the input voltage varies or constant. Because the electronic component are only work with rated certain voltage. Take this LED as an example. If we connect this with a large voltage then the LED will be burned because the rated voltage of LED too low. It can handle low power. To protect the LED, we need a resistor that will reduce the current for the LED. Reducing current means low power. But according to Ohm's law, if we increase input voltage of the series resistor, then the output voltage of resistor, which is the input voltage of LED, will be increased and the power will be increased. So the LED will burn. That's why to protect this type of circuit we need linear voltage regulator that can be make a constant output voltage when the input voltage varies. There are many types of integrated circuit of constant voltage regulator like 7808, 7806, 7805, 7812. But on our experiment we need constant 5V. That's why we are using 7805 IC for constant 5V. It can handle maximum 1.5 ampere of current. The input voltage is minimum 7 volt and maximum 35 volt for this IC. There are three pins. Pin 1 for unregulated voltage which is input voltage for the IC. Pin 2 is ground or minus pin. And pin 3 is constant output voltage or regulated voltage. The manufacturer R recommends a capacitor on input and output. The input capacitor is needed if the regulator IC is very far from the power supply or filter. We are going to use a long wire for the voltage regulator IC. So we are using recommended capacitor on the input side of IC, which is minimum 0.22 microfarad. In this simple example, you can see the reality. If we disconnect the supply of LED, instantly the LED glow off. but place a capacitor parallel to the LED and make the supply, the supply charge the capacitor and make glow the light. When it is disconnected with supply, the capacitor discharges his power and the LED remain glow on for a certain time. For this charging and discharging method, the capacitor reduces the unwanted frequency input voltage of the IC. We are going to connect another capacitor. This is picofarad capacitor. This is connected very near to the IC. It can make more DC signal for the IC. We connect a diode on the input side. If we make reverse flow or connected a diode in wrong way, then the diode cannot flow the current. So this is quite good to protect our circuit from wrong polarity. You can see this. Diode can make a voltage drop which is very small. So it can be used. Now we can place all of this component on a breadboard and test it out. Well, this works good. Now we can turn it into a breadboard and let's see what's going on.
it work perfectly it works perfectly so you can make your own voltage regulator circuit this is quite good you know really it is quite good well